Go ahead, Coach Payne. Yeah. yeah, hey, Matt, how are you? Good, good. What did you learn about your team tonight defensively? Well, I, I thought we did a, a pretty good job of just kind of bottling them up at times. Obviously, they got away from us, and, you know, we didn't want them to – to live at the free throw line. And obviously Dwayne Washington and CJ Walker are, are great free throw shooters. And, you know, we wanted to try to keep them off the free throw line, obviously with EJ Liddell being out, that's a big piece um, of, of what they do. And um, so I, we just thought the dribble penetration, you saw where they got us in the second half, they were doing a good job of cracking our five man and then beating us off the bounce and then eliminating the help. And we just had to do a better job in post defense. We had to do a better job simply in containing the dribble. We, we had a couple bad closeouts. Um, they got some matchups that they liked in the second half on a couple switches. We had a couple breakdowns. And then they were getting in the paint. So I, I thought when we were keeping them out of the paint, um, you know, we had a lot of success. And then when they were getting in there, um, you know, late in the game, they got in there a couple times. And we had a couple good contests. We, you know, we took a charge. Um, we were around the basketball. but. Um, I thought our guys were really active, especially in the first half. I thought Ohio State had four or five long rebounds. Uh, not really long rebounds, but just not right there at the rim. And we had guys coming from behind, just keeping it alive. And I, I just thought we were, we were more active tonight than, we've, than we have been. Even though we've rebounded the ball well this season, um, I just liked the way we competed when the ball got loose. We did a much better job in that area. Right. Well, obviously, you know, it was double coverage a lot because that's how he got the assist. Uh, they were really struggling with the dive man. And, um, you know, that's what when you come into a double and uh, people dive, that's what you want to take away from them is, you know, limit their vision, stop that layup on the dive man. But what it opens up with guys with Travion that can really pass is that, now that kick out three. But if you're not used to doing it a lot, sometimes that rotation gets messed up especially when that four comes from different stop. And I think Travion did a good job of recognizing that. And our other guys did a good job of diving. And Brandon got one. Mace got a couple. Aaron got one. And uh, obviously, he got a lot of assists tonight. But, you know, it was just good to see him have a balanced game. You know, he scored the ball a little bit for us. He rebounded. I thought he did some good things defensively for us. And then obviously, like, you know, we're discussing now, he did a good job of passing. You got some really good minutes, it seemed like, and some really big shots Shots yeah. Yeah. Well, the three that he got, he made a good read. You know, he was in a, kind of some screening action. And he just slipped up and really, you know, nailed that three um, on the run. Then late in the game, he, he was really under control when they didn't stop him and um, you know some handoff action and just got in there and was under control and, and made that. That was a big basket when he made that floater from about eight eight feet. So I, I thought he played within himself. You know, I, you know, the one time he had the ball in the break, you know, he should just jump stop and keep it simple. And we're going to probably get a wide open shot. Uh, he was just trying to do too much. And then that's that's kind of him though. Like when he lets things come to him and he's solid, you know, he's he's going to bring more value to our team. You know, there were a bunch of sequences in this game where if this place was full, you know, it would have erupted. Mm. You guys were on a run or whatever. Right. Things like that. Where did the energy come from in those moments from your perspective? Well, I, I talked to our guys before the game and said, you know, we, we got to create our own energy, but you got to create your energy through positive play. You know, you got to do your job. You know, you got to make plays. And I, I thought we did that tonight. You know, we had guys that are around the basketball and, um, you know, you got to make some shots, got to make some plays, you got to do something to build off that energy. It's hard to have a lot of energy. Um, if you're struggling, it just is. You know, you really got to work at it when you're down right there to get yourself going again. And, you know, there was a couple of runs there that we were on the bad end of. And, you know, our guys were able to, you know, make some plays, get some stops um, to help our cause. It's definitely, a, it's definitely a different environment for everybody, without, without question. Thank you, man. No problem. Card? Seven points 
creates some separation there. Right. Well, like I said, anytime you're making shots, you know, Aaron sticks that three, and um, Eric got a big three in that sequence. Andy was able to get all the way to the basket on, on another drive. Um, he got that pull up, too. And so um, anytime you can get, you know, three, four, five stops in a row and then you're scoring, you know, that's, that's what a run is. And um, we were able to really feed off of that. You know, we never really could push it out from there. You know, obviously they got to where they cut it to two possessions late after that scramble uh, rebound when Dwayne Washington hit that three and what was that nine. That was, a, that was a big rebound for them. That was a big basket. The game could have really went the other direction at that time. But we never really could get it, um, you know, out of reach. They kept it there, you know, three, two, three, four possessions. Well, it was good. Like, you know, he's, he's a very confident player, as you can see. You know, the one three, you know, he, he shouldn't have probably taken in the first half. Probably the one in the second half he shouldn't have taken either. Um, but he made a couple nice drives. Um, you know, you got you to gotta get into the game before, like, you know, you uh, start shooting the basketball. And, like, I probably should have talked to him a little bit about just – but the two that he took in the first half, you know, those were open shots. You know, he's going to make those. He's, he's a shot maker. He's going to make those. So, um, but it was good to get him out there. You, you rarely ever do guys come back and play well. You know, and I always say that. I'm not trying to jinx him. It just, it's just the way it is. It's hard to be a good player um, early on in your career, but it's really hard after you've set out or, you know, like what Ethan's went through with, with Mono and uh, when he's went through with an injury. Now you're just – you're adding another layer um, onto something that's hard to begin with. So, you know, I, I thought he made a couple nice, nice moves, nice drives there, and uh, you know we got to start, and so hopefully he plays, um, and um, you know plays better, you know on Saturday. But you just you just learn from playing, and nothing beats having film with you on there and watching yourself, and you know just trying to get better, you know each day. Does layups help settle him down a little bit? <laughs> I hope so. He was excited, man. There's not, you know, there's. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. He was he was excited to play. He's been chomping at the bit to get in there, so it, it was good to see him get in there. Thank you. Yep. Anyone else? Hi, Coach. Yep. Hey, Coach. Uh, you know, those first four turnovers in the first four minutes of game, and I think you only had three for the remainder of the first half. Uh, what was uh, what was the difference there? Was that just something about you know getting into the groove or getting into the yeah. rhythm, or what was the there, I guess. Uh, just, you know, keep it simple. Like, you know, we just had a miscommunication pass. We, we, the ball got poked from behind one time. Um, we tried to dribble in between four people on the break, which is just a poor decision. Um, you know, we're at the basket a couple times and lost it. So, like, you know, j just have to keep things simple. A um, couple of them are just, you know, not protecting the basketball. The other, the other one are just simple fundamental plays. So, and I always say it, it's really hard to like generalize when it's four different plays and four different turnovers. You know, I got to kind of go through each one of them. But um, yeah, it's, it's, to me, it's just a lack of focus. Just, just focus and concentrate. You've played the game your whole life, um, you know, but you got to throw the ball to eyes and you got to protect the ball, especially when you get past somebody. And, and uh, you know, we'll hopefully keep working on it and be better. Yeah. What does that do just in terms of the energy of the team seeing him make those flashy plays like he, like he can do? Yeah, well, a couple of the shots that he made like are low percentage shots. And I know it goes in, but those are low percentage shots. And um, But the passes weren't. I, I, I thought like he had a couple passes that got deflected, that the, the play was the right play, it just got deflected. But like the, the assists that he got were just, you know, those were the right reads. You know, he's making the right reads. Those guys are diving a lot of times, and he's hitting those guys, and he's finding guys open for jump shots. And, uh, just you know, just has to keep being a threat and keep posting up as deep as he can. You know, he gets into problems when, like, you know, he tries to do something and he, he's not getting to his strength. And uh, when he gets to his strength, he's going to command a double team or he's going to just get a jump hook in the lane. And uh, you got to keep fighting for that deep position. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you, guys.